Loratadine, the active ingredient in Olivert, is an antihistamine that helps with seasonal allergy symptoms like itchy and watery eyes, runny nose, and sneezing. Pseudoephedrine, another ingredient in Olivert, acts as a decongestant to relieve a stuffy nose, promote sinus draining, and improve breathing. Keep in mind that this medication is not suitable for children under 12 due to the high amount of pseudoephedrine. It is recommended to take one tablet of Olivert once daily for optimal relief from allergy symptoms. It is best to take it in the morning to provide relief throughout the day. When taking Olivert, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Typically, you'll take it twice a day, every 12 hours, with a full glass of water. Be sure to swallow the tablets whole, and don't crush or chew them, as this can cause the drug to be released too quickly, leading to potential side effects. It's important not to take more than the recommended dose or take it more frequently than directed. If you're planning on getting allergy testing, it's best to avoid taking Olivert for several days beforehand, as it may affect the results. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, consult your doctor or pharmacist for more information. Some common side effects of Olivert include dry mouth, mild stomach upset, trouble sleeping, dizziness, headache, nervousness, loss of appetite, or thirst. If these effects persist or worsen, notify your doctor or pharmacist. If your doctor has prescribed this medication to you, it means that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, if you experience fast or irregular heartbeat, uncontrolled shaking or tremor, mental-slash-mood changes, or difficulty urinating, inform your doctor immediately. Seek medical help right away if you have any very serious side effects, such as seizures or a serious allergic reaction. Symptoms of a serious allergic reaction may include rash, itching-slash-swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. If you notice any of these symptoms, seek medical help immediately. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice other effects not listed above, contact your doctor or pharmacist for advice. Before taking Olivert, it's important to let your doctor know if you have any allergies to loratadine, pseudoephedrine, desloratadine, or any other medications. You should also inform your doctor about any serious side effects you may have experienced from similar medications in the past. It's important to talk to your pharmacist about any inactive ingredients in the product that may cause allergic reactions or other problems. Before using Olivert, discuss your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have kidney disease, liver disease, problems urinating, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart problems, thyroid problems, or glaucoma. Be cautious while taking this medication, as it may cause dizziness. Avoid consuming alcohol or marijuana while using Olivert, as it can increase dizziness. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, or doing activities that require alertness until you know how the medication affects you. Limit alcoholic beverages and consult your doctor if you are using marijuana. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of Olivert, such as fast-slash-irregular heartbeat, dizziness, problems urinating, trouble sleeping or confusion. Dizziness, trouble sleeping, and confusion can also increase the risk of falling. During pregnancy, Olivert should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor before using this medication. Olivert passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using this medication. When taking Olivert, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and over-the-counter drugs, and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's essential to consult your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. It's important to avoid taking MAO inhibitors with Olivert, as it may cause a serious, possibly fatal drug interaction. This includes medications such as isocarboxazid, linozolid, methylene blue, and others. It's also important to be cautious of other medications, such as cough and cold products, that may contain similar ingredients to Olivert. Always check the labels and ask your pharmacist about using those products safely. Additionally, it's important to avoid using medications containing desloratadine while taking Olivert. And be aware that Olivert may interfere with certain lab tests, such as allergy skin testing, 
potentially causing false test results. It's important to make sure that lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you are using this medication. As for the daily dosage, it's best to follow your doctor's prescription and take Olivert at the same time each day. Finally, it's important to consult your doctor about the optimal timing for taking Olivert. If someone has taken too much Olivert and experiences severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to call 911 for immediate help. Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an Olivert overdose may include irregular or unusually slow or fast heartbeat, unusual nervousness or excitement, and seizures. It is important to seek medical attention if any of these symptoms occur. Do not give Olivert to anyone else. This medication is for your use only. If you forget to take a dose of Olivert, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time to take your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store Olivert at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It's important to keep it out of the bathroom and away from children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of any unused or expired Olivert, make sure to consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company. It's important not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.